key things that the economic, or rather that the technical work stream needs to support and accomplish is this development of open architecture standards and specifications. That will be the key to high volume commercial PHEV introduction. And the vehicle to grid interaction across geographic markets has to be consistent. We operate the automotive uh, environment, the automotive universe, and the utility grid universe. We operate two separate uh, worlds, if you will, where the automotive universe is driven by feedback control, response to customer action, providing consistent performance. It is customer expectation driven and transportation focused. When you look at utilities, they have a feed forward control model, provide low noise with content power as a key objective. They're looking to optimize the use of their facilities, minimize ancillary service, maximize the use of available power, and are stationary power driven. The interaction between these universes we see is three key areas. Grid to vehicle, vehicle to home, and vehicle to grid. The near-term PHEV solution will obviously have a grid to vehicle interaction, whether it be at home or in remote locations. And we can engineer our way through that. Vehicle to home interaction, I believe, is an interaction that can be delivered early on uh, in the PHEV uh, technology rollout. And I believe it will ultimately be key to delivering a value proposition that uh, makes sense for these vehicles. Further out, uh, the vehicle to grid interaction is one that I would characterize as ultimately uh, doable but not in the near term, and an interaction that requires significantly more study and investigation. Our perspective on vehicle-to-grid relationship is that the OEMs and utilities ultimately must be understand each other's businesses, processes, technology, customers, government, and legal environment, as well as they understand their own. There is a significant synergy between the PHEVs we're designing today and future zero emissions vehicle technology, be it uh, fuel cell vehicles, uh, extended battery electric vehicles, and so forth. Those areas are in uh, regen braking systems and controls, high voltage electronics and controls, battery systems, including thermal management aspects, high voltage motors, human machine interface, and electric ancillary systems. All of the work that's being done today in these areas is going to carry forward and have benefit as we move the technology into future platforms. Ford Escape PHEV, PHEV demonstration fleet and the coordination with utilities like SCE and with EPRI is the first step towards a production program and that necessary due diligence, engineering, and development of these vehicles is necessary to meet customer expectations, government regulations, as well as our own uh, standards. And so my advice is stay tuned. There's a lot more progress to come. And uh, this is an exciting time to be in the industry. And uh, we're very positive and hopeful.